Hello friends, uh, today I am going to uh, share React.js e-commerce project uh, with source code and also uh, a server. Uh, let's uh, start uh, how we can uh, clone the project and how to configure the project and uh, run the project. Uh, so uh, you can uh, go to my uh, uh, repository uh, that is uh, github.com uh, slash frontend uh, source code then uh, see here uh, in frontend source code there is a uh, repository that is called uh, fashion queue so let's clone the project uh, which is uh, developed by um, Quintus Labs Private Limited uh, but I have worked and uh, modified um, the project so you can download the project with a zip file or you can uh, clone the project uh, let's clone the project so uh, go to um, the folder and uh, open the command prompt in command prompt just type uh, git clone press the url uh, wait for the cloning that project so wait for the uh, downloading the project It's a uh, retrieving, it's a uh, downloading your project. So you can uh, see one uh, folder is created uh, like version queue. Okay, it's uh, completed. Um, now you can uh, see the version queue. You can open in <coughs> any uh, source code editor like a VS Code or um, Web Store. Uh, let's open it in uh, VS Code. So inside the project uh, server is there, uh, e-commerce server. Uh, so inside uh, it's uh, developed in uh, Node.js. Uh, let's uh, uh, run the Node module. So uh, do npm install. Uh, running and node models so inside the e-commerce server uh, you can uh, see uh, the bean folder is there uh, here uh, so inside uh, this you can change this port uh, maybe uh, 5000 or 7000 or anything because uh, react.js project will run in uh, 3000 that's why we have uh, changed it to uh, 5000 it will run in 5000 so we'll open another uh, command uh, prompt and we will go to the folder uh, like uh, cd space uh, server then after uh, cd e-commerce uh, inside that also you have to run the npm install there is a way to set up uh, node modules yeah. in uh, see node modules created uh, and also in here also it's downloading Good for the competition so uh, node module uh, it's uh, uses mongodb so you have to configure the mongodb uh, for that uh, for configuration mongodb you have to download uh, mongodb from uh, DB download community. Uh, here you can uh, download the uh, MongoDB files. Uh, here you can download. I have already downloaded uh, a MongoDB file, uh, so you can uh, run MongoDB compass. So you have to configure uh, your MongoDB with uh, node modules. Uh, let's see. yeah, node server completed. Uh, let's check. It's also completed. So we'll uh, run first on uh, npm start. Uh, it will uh, start our React.js project. Here I'll connect uh, to a um, host. So let's uh, create a database uh, like uh, FSHIO and Fashion Q uh, and create a folder like uh, users. 
it in double uh, person queue is created uh, let's configure that in here uh, let's see, see this is uh, that url uh, connecting or mongodb let's paste and save then after you go to the windows uh, command prompt open command prompt uh, check your ip address ip config so my ip config is 192.168.100 this thing so uh, let's configure in your uh, react js project uh, to access the server information if you uh, see here uh, localhost there will be nothing uh, to show only uh, this uh, static data is there so uh, to configure our project uh, or to access the information we will uh, see uh, this is uh, the URL <coughs> we will just um, uh, change the uh, change the IP address here it is 192.168 uh, it's already there uh, because I've already configured the project. Uh, so um, I have to change uh, the things. Uh, okay. So uh, I have uh, configured the project uh, server. So uh, run. I have to. If you go to the uh, readme file, uh, you can uh, see uh, they have uh, to need to see the, the data. Uh, to pre-populate our uh, some data uh, so how we can uh, uh, seed the data node space uh, dot slash uh, seed it will uh, seed your data okay it's uh, done then uh, start our uh, node.js server npm start so already um, our server started and let's open here you can see nothing is there uh, if you refresh uh, then you can uh, see data is there yeah. uh, add an item to the cart then add one item you can see here as it uh, uses uh, redux we are using uh, redux so i will add to cut two so you can uh, see the categories see the products you can go to the product category also let's go to the checkout page and uh, here also you can uh, change the quantity Uh, let's proceed to check out you can um, give the details uh, it says static page uh, we have used uh, um, only the cash and delivery or uh, if you want to online payment then you can contact us for online payment we'll uh, configure some online payment uh, um, uh, methods now go to the placeholder then uh, place thank you uh, so uh, this is the uh, project which we are going to uh, share your share you the whole source code uh, thanks uh, please like subscribe and uh, share our videos uh, for um, um, to get lot of source codes we are going to share you lot of source code with you thank you